Accessing MRI scans for patients with pacemakers and defibrillators can be challenging. Even though the majority of new implants are MRI conditional, there's still a large population of patients who have non-MRI conditional devices in situ. Simply replacing the generator with an MRI conditional one doesn't solve the problem. With the legacy non-MRI conditional leads in situ, the system is still deemed non-MRI conditional. Although we've got increasing data suggesting it's safe to scan these devices, provided you follow strict protocols from the studies such as MagnaSafe and other clinical studies, most centres still will not offer this service, meaning that patients are unable to access scans. We have no clinical data suggesting that uh, non-MRI conditional pacing leads cause more tissue heating or adverse events. And similarly, lots of non-MRI conditional legacy leads are being reclassified to be conditional but testing every possible generator lead combination is difficult. So we hypothesized that there would be no difference in safety events or lead parameters between scanning MRI conditional and non-conditional pacemaker and defibrillator leads. We recruited patients from three centres, Bart's Heart Centre in London, Royal Brompton Hospital in London and the University of Pennsylvania Healthcare System. We recruited patients who were going for clinically indicated MRI scans uh, and we followed strict protocols according to the Heart Rhythm Society guidelines. We recruited 967 patients, comprising over 2,200 leads. The majority, 57%, were non-MRI conditional and 40% of scans were cardiac. When we looked at the results, we had no adverse uh, events at all. So we had no deaths, no inhibition of pacing, no ventricular arrhythmias. And we also had no electrical resets or power on resets in any of the cohorts. When we look at lead parameters across all patients, there was no change in left ventricular or right ventricular uh, lead thresholds, but there were some minor changes in sensing and impedance, but these were uh, less than 5% changes. When we compare MRI conditional and non-conditional leads, we can see that there were no differences between the changes in lead parameter between the two groups, apart from a slightly increased difference in lead impedance in the MRI conditional leads than the non-conditional leads. So in summary, we've shown that it's safe to scan non-conditional and conditional pacing leads and that there's no difference in the lead parameters or performance of uh, the two groups. We suggest that this uh, shows that we can potentially reclassify non-MRI conditional pacing leads as conditional, meaning that patients with conditional generators but non-conditional leads can be reclassified as having, non as, as having conditional systems. This would improve access to patients, allow them to access scans in, in, in units where they can scan patients with MRI conditional systems and hopefully reduce the inequity that these patients currently face at the current time.